Which MTG Arena card is better? March of Otherworldly Light? Or Fateful Absence? Two cards vying for removal spots in the new Capenna Standard meta. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of each. March of Otherworldly Light. March is a card that blasted onto the scene when the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set dropped and saw a lot of play early and often. Pros Instant Speed Exile Effect Targets artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Very cheap way to remove creature lands. Allows mana cost adjustment by sacrificing other white cards. Cons Doesn't target planeswalkers. Expensive to cast if the target has a high mana value. Can force sacrificing multiple cards in your hand to pay a high mana cost to cast the spell. Fateful Absence. This card entered standard with the release of Innistrad, Midnight Hunt and has been removing creatures and planeswalkers ever since. Pros. Instant Speed. Targets creatures and planeswalkers. Fixed cheap mana cost. Cons. Targets controller investigates. Doesn't exile. These two cards offer spot removal in interestingly different ways. While March of Otherworldly Light offers an exile effect for creatures, you need to remove from the match. Entirely its cost is dependent on the mana value of the target. Sometimes, like with creature lands or tokens, you'll simply pay one white mana to remove that treefolk token or hive of the eye tyrant. At the same time, you'd need to spend eight mana to remove a titan of industry making this card significantly worse in that scenario. It also targets artifacts and enchantments, giving March more flexibility, because it can get rid of wedding announcements, Oni cult anvils, and the like. March of the Otherworldly Light however does not target Planeswalkers. A big negative in standard currently as Planeswalkers are powerful and plentiful. Fateful Absence on the other hand does target Planeswalkers. It's mana efficient at destroying those wandering emperors or lol, spider queens, and removing them from the battlefield. It almost matches March at removing creature lands and tokens at only costing 2 mana. However, it surpasses March in being able to remove higher mana cost creatures for the same 2 mana. Any spot removal spell which costs 2 mana is going to have a drawback. For Fateful Absence it's giving the target's owner a clue. This can feel awful to many players. You have to remove the threat but allow your opponent to draw a card by paying 2 mana and sacrificing this clue token. In a lot of cases it's worth it, but giving your opponent any type of card advantage could put you in a worse position. There is the not often used playline of destroying one of your own creatures to give yourself a clue. A versatile option to remember for sure. Lastly, Fateful Absence does not exile. With so many cards returning from the graveyard in standard right now, exile effects are extremely valuable. Which card is better? Fateful Absence. While in certain decks, and against certain matchups, March of Otherworldly Light will prove to be the better choice. However, Fateful Absence's ability to remove Planeswalkers and high mana cost creatures, at a mana efficient cost, despite the downside in a mid range, meta makes it overall slightly more valuable.